sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. I'm also excited to share that we're going to be opening two boxes together today. I feel like double the boxes are always double the fun. And what's even better is both of these boxes are May boxes. So we're getting a little bit of a look into the future. Y'all are getting a first look at them and you get first crack at running over and grabbing them if you're interested. So I have my habitation box as well as my tiered tray decor box. Just FYI, my tiered tray in my kitchen right now is empty. I took all the Easter off of it and put it away and it's kind of been sitting there empty for a week. In between Easter and like summer, I always struggle with what to put on my tiered tray. So I think we're gonna open this box and at the end, I'm gonna style it up and show you what it looks like. So stay tuned to the end for that. And we're just going to go ahead and dive in. If you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. Also, if you're stopping by for the first time, comment below where you're from. That lets me know you're new so I can welcome you personally in the comments. So we're going to dive in first with the habitation box. And it is a big guy this time. Y'all, if you did not see the April box, we got a huge framed botanical print in that box. It was absolutely beautiful. What I love about the habitation box is there's lots of different ways you can subscribe, ways that are gonna fit each budget and lifestyle. So Kelly has a mini mystery box that comes out every month with four items for $49.99. She has her original box, which has four to six items. That's a little bit of a more curated box. That's gonna be $69.99. And I have to say, as someone who opens a lot of subscription boxes, that is an amazing price point in the home decor subscription box world. I think it's just priced a little bit lower than some of the other boxes, which is nice. And then she has the Elite box, which we're going to take a look at today, which has six to nine items in it for $129.99. Now, not only do you have a choice of which tier box, but you have a choice to either subscribe to them monthly if you need a little extra help or quarterly if you just want a seasonal refresh. Also, Kelly has an interior design background, and so if you're a subscriber to this box and you just need a little extra help, maybe you don't know what to do with a wall in your house, you're moving into a new house, or you've lived there for 18 years and you're like, I've never known what to do here, you can snap a picture email it to her and she will send you some ideas of what she thinks would look great in that space. It's just a little extra freebie that she gives. Now you guys, if you've been watching Habitation Box for a while and have been on the fence for subscribing, I noticed something on her website. I always tell you I go on boxes websites before I do um, unboxings just to see and she's doing a free bundle if you subscribe so basically you go on you subscribe you can use my discount code for 10 percent off any box and then once you've subscribed you'll email her i'll put the information down below and you can tell her if you want bundle one two or three it's like a freebie that you're going to get with your first box i think that is amazing and now is the time to subscribe okay i'm done let's go ahead and talk about it this is what it looks like i do know that this box has nine items in it so it is Packed full, we are going to dive in. So when you open it up, there is some paper on the side. She does do a little QR code over here, if you can see. So once you get your box, you'll just open your phone, hover it over in the camera mode, and um, it'll open up and you can see all of the styling ideas and learn a little bit about each of the other items. Now, just FYI, go over to her Instagram or Facebook. She does tons of giveaways. Sometimes you get to customize some of your boxes over there and she gives you great styling advice. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to look at this guy first. I'm intrigued. Let's see what's in here. Kelly also likes a really neutral color palette. Um, she'll do some pops of color here and there, and we usually get a little piece of greenery, um, but it's gonna go with lots of different decor styles. So, oh my gosh, there's several things in this box. How adorable. It's one of those little timers. I don't remember what you call these. I always remember this for some reason in the Wizard of Oz. I think that's the first time as a little kid when I saw one of these. 
And um, it's when um, the witch turns it over and then sends the flying monkeys out and Dorothy's like sitting there watching the sand go through. What a beautiful piece. This would be interested, interesting styled on a bookshelf, but also think tear tray. Wow. Sometimes you just need a little interesting piece. That packs a lot of interest. It's very charming. Oh, I love that. I wonder how long does it say? I'm going to have to time it. Maybe 15 minutes before all the sand runs out. Interesting. Love. Love that. I love a, anything glass. Okay, the next piece in here has two things. I didn't see any spoilers. I purposely did not go over. Oh, salt and pepper shakers. These are cute too. Okay, it says that these are dishwasher safe. So thank you, Kelly. I told my husband the other day, he came home with this like plastic cup and I'm like, that doesn't belong in my house. If it doesn't go in the dishwasher, I don't want it. So we got little salt and pepper shakers here. I like the texture on them. That pretty kind of creamy white color is beautiful. Love. Believe it or not, I don't have any salt and pepper shakers. I don't know how I don't have any. I guess they broke when my kids were little and I just keep the big thing of salt like in the in the cardboard container and the container of spice or pepper in my cabinet and everybody just goes over and uses it that way so there's not a salt and pepper shaker in my house that is very much needed okay the next thing we have oh, look at this cutie it's a little trivet what i'm noticing on the pieces this month are there's a lot of character to them a lot of really beautiful texture a lot of pieces that you can mix and match but really kind of stand alone and are beautiful in their own right that's so pretty i love that i like the pattern it sort of got this milky white wash over it but you see the pottery underneath the ceramic isn't that pretty you could even use this as a spoon rest in your kitchen that may be what i do okay the first three items i am loving Okay, the next item we have in here, oh, look how charming this is. The tea towel has its own little ruffle skirt. <laughs> like, you know, when you were a little girl and you would be like, twirl, twirl when you had a dress. That's what this reminds me of. Oh, this just makes me happy. And it even has the little like underskirt under it, like a, t a, a twirly dress would. <laughs> and this is kind of a, I, th I think it's black and white print. It almost looks like a curtain panel, doesn't it? Oh, I really, really like this. My kitchen's kind of a creamier white, and this is gonna be so charming hung over my little oven handle. It's really soft too. This is one of those towels that I feel like has a little bit absorbency to it. You know how you get the Turkish towels and as much as I love them, I feel like they don't soak up. They dry really quickly, but I feel like they don't like soak up the mess if you need them to. This one feels like it's got a little bit more absorbency to it. Oh, I love that little skirt. Okay. Next thing we have is some greenery. She always puts a little bit of greenery in here, which I appreciate. And this is little like white and green. It's a little sprig, but it's Full. It's got tons and tons of branches. Can you see? So that you can really pull this out and put it in a little vase. I like these sometimes to put on my tiered tray in little vases if I just need a little height or color. But again, on a bookshelf, that actually takes up a quite a bit of space. That's pretty. It's kind of this gorgeous spring green and looks like little white buds. That's beautiful. And again, you can kind of frew this however you want, kind of play with the branches to make it a little thicker and fuller looking. All right. 
Okay, next item that we have is a stand. I love these. I feel like I can never have enough of these. You can put a plant on them. Um, sometimes on my mantle, if I'm trying to like balance both sides of my mantle, I'll have something on this side that just doesn't have the height I need. So they're great to just add height to any decor. These look really pretty um, in an entryway or on a bookshelf. Again, you could put a, a plant on that. So that's pretty. I love the deep, rich color of that one. And look at the little feet. They almost look like little thread, like the little container that a thread goes on. A thread. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> pretty. Okay. The next thing we have. Ooh, it's something jute. Is this a rug? Oh, I think it's a runner. Oh, it's a table runner. This is stunning. This is thick and heavy. These are not cheap. Mm, it smells really good too. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going right on my table. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the different colors. It's got depth of the colors in here. It's really warm. Again, we've got that great texture. Throw some candlesticks down the middle of your table. Oh, wow. This kind of stands on its own. And you can add anything. Think about this with a fall tablecloth under it. I mean, you can use this on your bare table. Think about it with reds. Think about it with any pretty pastel spring color. This is going to go with so many decors. You could put this on your island. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we got that. This is heavy. This is really beautiful quality. Does it give a dimension? No, but it does say it's 100% jute and it's a natural runner. Wow. That's beautiful. Really stunning. I'm loving this box this time. Okay, we have something else in bubble wrap here. Ooh, we got a little hand soap bottle. I'm really leaning, I'm about to redo some places in my house and I'm really leaning toward the natural tones with black. I think I'm going to change my furniture over, and I think this is kind of the, the aesthetic that I'm going for. I really like this. And the pump is nice and easy to use. You can put this in your bathroom. You can put it in your kitchen. I think it's going to go straight into my kitchen. And then it's got almost like a little basket weave looking texture to it. Each of these pieces is just so beautiful. Okay. All right, there's one more thing in here, and this is in this box. This is heavy. That box didn't feel that heavy, but the weight of the jute runner and whatever's in here, I'm surprised. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. These urn type pots are everywhere. This is so on trend right now. It has like a little tribal look to it. But again, I think this is the aesthetic that I want to go for. This is beautiful. I wonder, I don't know, this may be too, yeah, this is a little bit too small. But you can get the idea of a beautiful, like a darker green viney plant in it. It's again, really interesting. My guest bathroom downstairs is black and white and I have shelves above the toilet. This I think is gonna go in there. It's a beautiful upscale pot, but a lot of texture and dimension. <gasps> I love that. This was a great box. We got the jute runner, the little sprig, this gorgeous pot with the lovely little handle. Do you see? That's so pretty. We got the hand soap dispenser, the salt and pepper shakers, which I desperately needed. I know, don't laugh at me. The cute little timer. Oh my goodness. We got, <laughs> this may be one of my favorite things. I just love a little skirt on here. <laughs> the little trivet, as well as the riser. 
That was a good box this time, y'all. This might be the box to subscribe to with that extra bundle. This is really interesting too. Okay, so that was my habitation box. Again, I have that discount code for 10% off. I will leave all the information about getting that free bundle that I saw on her website down below. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the tiered tray decor box now. I have three tiered trays. I have a three tiered stand here on my um, desk. It's got more office supplies in it. I have a smaller one in my kitchen because my kitchen cabinets come down a little lower. That's two tiered. And then I have an absolutely stunning one. I actually got in a past habitation box last year. I love it so much. That sits in my dining room. Um, so I have lots of tiered trays. I have a love for them and I like to sort of mix and match them. And that's where this box comes in. Every month they are going to send you four to six items that you can mix and match and change up your tiered tray decor. Now you can buy one-time boxes or you can subscribe. It is $50 a month and I do have a discount code for 10% off. Like I said in the opening, my tiered tray is empty right now because I took all the Easter off and between now and like Memorial Day I really struggle with what to put on my tiered tray I've got like a Memorial Day and a 4th of July theme that I do I do this really pretty yellow black and white theme um, that's bees um, but I don't have anything going on right now so we're gonna open this up and style it up and see what we've got now typically I will use more than four to six items on a tiered tray but these boxes are made where you can take things from past boxes and sort of mix and match and use all the things. I have four little shoe box like Rubbermaid type tubs that I have my tiered tray decor in um, and it just makes it easy to pull and mix and match when I'm ready to go. So this is what the May box looks like. I'm really excited. I haven't opened this box for a little while. It's very well packed. Go ahead and put my glasses on. Oh, cute. Okay, this might be like a farm theme. Look at these little wooden pieces. It says farm fresh milk, farm fresh bacon, and farm fresh eggs. I've never done a farm theme before. How adorable. This will be cute because my tear tray is black and white. These are individual pieces, so you can either stack them together or you can do them separately. There's the chicken, or is he a rooster? I guess it's a chicken because it says eggs. There's a little pig. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then we have the cow. I really like them stacked together though. Sometimes it's hard to find tall items um, that don't take up a lot of space, like tall and skinny for a tiered tray, and this will do the trick. Okay, the next thing we have, oh my goodness. It says farm fresh eggs and it has the chicken. How fun is that? I like the natural wood on it. Kind of pulls with this and the black lettering goes together. All right, I'm seeing a vision here. We have a little sprig of greenery. I have the cutest little vase. I can't remember. It either came from a habitation box or a tiered tray decor box. I use that vase almost every single time. It's just this little mini white vase, and it's perfect to just stick some spring greenery in. This is like a really soft, beautiful, it almost reminds me of lamb's ear, except I think the leaves are a little bit too small but that's pretty. And a lot of times you can, I'll bend this. If I, whatever vase or vessel I have is um, too short, you can bend up the stem to make it fit. That's beautiful. Greenery just softens things and adds a nice filler to a tiered tray. Okay. Then we have eat well and feel good little sign. Oh, I'm excited for this theme. I don't have anything like this. Adorable. Okay. Wow. This is packed. This one says farm to fork. You know what I was thinking of the other day? I don't know if when you were growing up, if you're my age, do you remember the big wooden forks and spoons that our parents and grandparents would hang on the wall? They were all the rage, probably late seventies, early eighties, for some reason, those came into my head the other day, and this kind of reminds me of that. This is definitely a very farmhouse-themed tiered tray. Beautiful. Okay. Wow, there's a lot in here. This is 
empty. Okay, there's something in here though. This is a little pot. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, I love the coloring on it. It almost pulls just a little bit brown, but see what I mean about this guy? This will be so cute in there. Just add a little bit of extra softening. This would be cute with my B theme tear tray too. I haven't shown my tear tray in a lot in a long time. Usually I'll show it over on my Instagram, so I'll try and be better about doing that. But this would be great with that um, black, yellow and white bee theme that I do. Okay, see what I, I mean about mixing and matching things? And I think this is the end. Oh, okay, so farm fresh eggs. Here they are. And I really like that we got eggs. I was saying in another video that um, I you, we just see bunnies at Easter and I think bunnies are very spring-like. And so I'm happy to see eggs because these don't necessarily have to be Easter either. Look at the texture of the egg crate. Oh, this is fun. Okay, let me go and style up my tiered tray and I'll show you what I end up with. Stay tuned. And then here is my tiered tray. It turned out so adorable. So here's the little eggs in the farm fresh egg sign. The little vase with the greenery. I like the little greenery there. This little bowl and scoop came from a past habitation box. And then there's a little black vase that I had um, back there. There's the little cow and the pig and the chicken, as well as the eat well, feel well sign. This is a little pitcher. I think it came from habitation box, but it might have come from tear tray, I'm not sure. And a little yellow, um, plant in there just a little faux stem i thought the yellow just gave it a little something extra i took one of my little beaded strands and kind of stuck it in there and then behind it is my farm to fork sign it was a little bit long for mine if you have a three-tiered stand i think it would fit better and then I have this sign that says the dishes are looking at me dirty. That's kind of farmhouse looking. I got it from Amazon years ago, and I feel like it kind of matches the vibe in this little corner. I love it. I think it turned out so beautifully.